Julia. And I'm Chantal. And we are Growing Up Without Borders. And we would like to welcome you to Orhid, Macedonia. Let's go have a tour. And make sure before you watch the video to subscribe because mm -hmm. we are going to take you to every country in the world. We are Growing Up Without Borders, a family of five traveling to every country in the world. It all began with a five-week trip to Europe back in 2013, which then led to us traveling to now six continents and a hundred plus countries and counting. Are you ready to join the journey? Let's go. Macedonia holds a very special place in our hearts because back already in I want to say maybe 2008 when we were living in Florida we were working on one of our projects and one of our programmers uh, we found was in Ohrid and so we have had this ongoing working relationship for many many years uh, which led to meeting other people there and so going back to Ohrid was a really special uh, time for us. So our first time visiting Macedonia and I know you guys are probably saying it's not Macedonia anymore it's called North Macedonia in my head it's still Macedonia because that's what I call it that's what I've been calling it for so many years so it's really hard for my head to wrap around that and I know you guys are probably going to have this big huge discussion about it so I apologize North Macedonia so but anyway the first time we went through was back in 2014 and we drove over through Albania which was interesting um, because it was the first country where somebody asked us if those if the kids in the back were our kids and um, if ever you've watched a movie like Taken or something like that, I think they were Albanian and so it had a bad thing in my head and you know, you just think too much. But anyway, um, so our first trip there was really fun, short and sweet as well because we were doing this big long drive all through the Balkans and stuff. And this trip here, we came from in from Serbia, from Belgrade. We came in at night. You're about to cross the border from Serbia into Macedonia. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. So. On the sign back there, I'm not sure if you guys caught it on the video, but it said, don't accept or pay money. So like, no corruption here. Let's see what happens. <laughs> see, they changed the name. Welcome to the Republic of North Macedonia. Oh, here we go, guys. This is Macedonia. This is what it looks like when you drive in. Yep, easy peasy border crossing. Just took a little long because there was lineups and we needed to show proof of a green card for the car, which we had. We just stopped at a basically a gas station here in Macedonia because you need to pay tolls on the roads. They're about one euro each time you go through, which is not so bad. We're doing about a two hour and 45 minute drive. And um, what was really nice is at the gas station, they didn't have an ATM machine to get cash. So the guy's like, no worries, I'll just uh, charge you guys and give you the cash back, which is super nice because most European countries here don't do that. So, and they didn't in Serbia anywhere either. So here's what their money looks like. That's a Macedonian dinar. We checked in at a place right downtown called City Inn. Here we go, we're going into the City Inn. And it had one of these like old European elevators, which is always fun to go up in. And uh, anyway, we had a really comfortable sleep, good comfortable beds. Here's our bedroom for the next few nights, and we have a beautiful view of the mountains. Got a nice cozy bed, some desk space. Good morning, good morning from Macedonia. First step and first stop is going to be to the grocery store. We, we're going to go get a few things. Um, but first thing we notice is there's this light wind and it's actually quite warm, which feels amazing. The grocery store that we found was just a smaller type one, but it had everything we needed to make our little breakfast. So they have this communal um, kitchen area here. So I just made a yummy breakfast for the family. French toast with Nutella, because I couldn't find any maple syrup. 
So we're gonna take you right down to the water and show you the beautiful waterfront here. Coming to Ohrid makes us realize just how undiscovered and underrated Macedonia is to the rest of Europe. It's truly a beautiful gem to discover. Ohrid is known as the Pearl of Macedonia because of its picturesque views and its beauty, but also because in Lake Ohrid there is a special type of fish called the Plasica fish, and out of that they are able to make these beautiful pearls, which you find all over the downtown and in many, many shops. I think I've seen like at least five of these stores like this on the street alone. Mm -hmm. We didn't make it too far because the whole waterfront is lined with cafes, so we met up with Soran, who we've been working with for the last few years, and enjoyed a nice coffee. Something that was really nice was being able to go see the office where Zoran's working each day and see their setup there. We ended the day with a really nice meal with our friends. The girls played some funny card tricks on them. <laughs> He's like trying to look. <laughs> we had to have a round of Monopoly deal. Okay guys, so it's been raining most of the day, but the sun is out and we are going to go show you the beautiful sightseeing tour of Ohrid. As you can see, it's a very windy and a bit chilly day here in Ohrid. There's their fortress in a distance that we're going to go show you. So the way it works is you actually park down below and then you walk up to go to the fortress. Along the way, we found this amazing ancient amphitheater. So it's a good hike up, you guys. Make sure you have good walking shoes. Uh, but yeah, you park down below, then it's about maybe only like 10 at the most minute walk up. Okay guys, just FYI, this may change in the future, but every day it's open from 9 until 4 p.m. It was still worth coming to the top because once we were up there, we enjoyed the most beautiful views of Lake Ohrid below and the mountains in the distance. And on our way back down, we saw the most beautiful church. They were bad. So to come in, it's 60 a person, that's for adults and kids, and it's just over a dollar, 50 is a dollar, and make sure you bring cash because there is no credit card machine, and there's no bank at the top, you have to go all the way back down to the downtown. So don't forget cash. Yeah. The stairs going up guys are pretty steep, just FYI. The viewpoint from up here is absolutely gorgeous.
This was actually part of the Bulgarian Empire, if you can imagine. So the emperor, this was his fortress and it's still standing today, so that's kind of cool. What do you see in the distance, girls? Anything cool? Oh, beautiful lake. Beautiful lake. Houses, downtown, So we just stopped here and had a nice little drink, and here is some good information for you. So when you're here, how much are the bathrooms, Angelique, you just said? Two euros a person. Two euros a person. If you buy a drink, um, they include the bathroom. So just FYI, because normally when you go and you like have a little coffee or whatever, they don't really care, right? But here they charge you extra, so just FYI. So all along the waterfront, it looks like you can walk quite a big distance, because I can see all the way to the end there. It's all walkable. One of these days, we're going to make a bathroom review. Hey, the bathroom. Very dirty, there was water all over the floor, no toilet paper, only paper towel, and as well, you can't put any toilet paper in the toilet, so. That's, that's normal here, but yeah. So, We're gonna do a bathroom review video on the different countries. France is the worst, there was poop diarrhea all over the wall. <laughs> we'll save that for the bathroom review video. So it's my birthday coming up and we just found this little market with jewelry and so I got myself a little bracelet like this, similar, with something like this kind of mixed together. And then we also got some pearling earrings. Very nice. Really cute. This is the bracelet. Isn't that gorgeous? And uh, basically all together it was about $8 I think for the pearl earrings and the matching bracelet. Look at the detail in this building, isn't it gorgeous? Wow, so pretty. So right behind me, you guys, that is where people used to get baptized. Imagine. Doing a little nature walk, crusting through to get to the main road to go show you another church. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It looks like a sea. So pretty. Behind me is the most photographed church in all of Macedonia. And I can see why, isn't it gorgeous? So we found a different way to come up. We're following the school group from Skopje through the forest beside this building being built. So this is the Church of St. Sophia. It's one of the most important monuments of Macedonia housing architecture and art from the Middle Ages. Orhid is famous for having 365 churches over the centuries, one for each day of the year. So right beside the Church of St. Sophia, they have this whole sitting area outside. Here we go, they do these tours that you can go out and uh, do a sightseeing tour like that. So a few years back, we met with this lovely family here. 
And this little boy was our in our intro video counting. <laughs> And she's, she, didn't, she wasn't born yet, but here we are back in Macedonia, having a nice dinner again with Ivan and his lovely wife. Cheers, Cheers. guys. Thank you. These are the portions of food here in Macedonia. Guys, thanks so much for watching our tour of Ohrid, Macedonia. Make sure you subscribe, give us a big thumbs up, and come along as we're going to take you to every country in the world. See you next time. Bye!